In this video, we'll see how to transfer your emails from your uh, G Suite account. So if you have a corporate email ID in G Suite, and if you want to uh, transfer those mails from G Suite to your uh, Outlook, to your Microsoft account. So in this quick video, we'll see how to transfer your emails, the entire mails along with your attachments from one account to another account. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm having my business account with my um, Outlook. So this is my mail ID. So here in uh, Gmail, I'm having my email account and uh, Gmail gives you a storage of almost about uh, 15 GB for every account. And uh, here I'm having uh, the limit set as 150 GB. However, Outlook gives you a 50 GB of uh, data storage. So I'm going to transfer all my accounts uh, emails in um, G Suite to my Outlook ID. So to, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a client named as Thunderbird. So this is from the same makers of uh, Mozilla Firefox. So just download from them and uh, just install them depending on the OS of your preference. So I'm using a Mac here. You can download the same for your Windows as well and uh, complete the installation. And once your installation is complete, so uh, what you do is um, install it on your C drive program files on your Macintosh, just drag the application to your applications folder. So wait for the installation to complete. So once the installation is complete, open the applications. And if you're going to install it for the first time, it will ask you to allow your access to contacts and everything. You can give the access to them. And uh, once you uh, allow the access to that, you'll be able to open up your uh, the application setup screen. So in this screen, I'm going to give an info of my uh, Gmail ID. That's the uh, G Suite account from where I'm going to migrate the data, port the data. So here I'm filling it with my G Suite ID and fill it with your username and password. And uh, Mozilla automatically looks up for the ISP's information and uh, gathers up all the uh, details here. Click on continue, it will load up the configuration. It shows that uh, there is a Mozilla ISP database found. So choose the option as IMAP here. So it will copy all your data. So it gives you to authenticate it. So it's asking you to give your access to your uh, uh, G Suite account to approve the mails, to download or read them and stuff. So fill your password again. So this is your authentication, the app authentication method. So allow all the access to it and uh, click on um, finish. So once you click on finish, it will automatically download, uh, start indexing all your emails, whatever is there in your uh, G Suite. Everything would automatically get uh, downloaded into your uh, local computer here. So you'll be able to see all the folders and everything showing up here, whatever labels and everything you have created along with your sent mails. So these are the mails which are there in my inbox. So these five or six mails which you see here. So the same mails you'll be able to see in the web version as well. So if you click on the web version of this, you'll be able to see these are the mails which are there in that account the offline um, Thunderbird version. So now what I'm going to do is clicking on this icon at the very bottom left settings icon. I'm going to do uh, again um, add an account. Click on account settings. Click on account actions. And there I'm going to click on add a mail account. And there I'm going to choose the option of uh, syncing my uh, Outlook account. So here I'm going to fill it with the credential of my Outlook ID. The Office 365 account. Fill in with your username and password everything. And uh, click on continue. So once you click on continue, it will um, say that the configuration is found. However, uh, there is a, a domain login which is required. So this domain login is nothing but your uh, um, the uh, companies or your businesses uh, URL that's been used for sign up. So this will be provided by your um, IT administrator. Just get this information and click on continue. It will automatically configure the, your account as well. Choose the option again as IMAP. Click on uh, done. So what happens this time is uh, it will again ask you to authenticate um, your uh, Outlook this time. So click up your uh, Microsoft uh, passwords. Click on sign in. So since this is the first time I'm trying to log in here, it's asking me to authenticate. This may not show up for you. And um, once you approve this, it will automatically start logging into your uh, Microsoft account and it will start um, asking you for the permission. You can give the consent on behalf of the company and click on accept and it will automatically start uh, downloading all of your data. So choose all the data and click on uh, accept. So it will ask you to uh, show an alert like uh, if you have an uh, HTTPS certificate or you can just cho choose the option as uh, confirm the security exception. Click on that option 
it will automatically uh, add up um, that into your site and uh, click on uh, finish it will get added up into this so on the left side you'll be able to see both of the accounts now the first one is your G Suite the one below is your Outlook here and uh, these are the emails here in that account so to copy the files uh, what I'm going to do is I'm um, clicking on the send the folder will start indexing all my sent files now yeah so these are the sent files there in that account so now I'm going to copy the inbox files whatever is there here just uh, copy all these five mails right click on them and uh, choose the option as uh, copy to or move to and you'll be able to take the option as copy to copy to the inbox of the um, Outlook account so you'll be able to see that uh, this is the online version of the uh, Outlook so this will start uh, loading up all my emails here in this account so this way all your emails will automatically move from your uh, G Suite to your Outlook so the same way what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the files from the other folders as well so if you have different labels in your uh, G Suite account and if you want to move them here uh, you can move them, create them folders, uh, right click on this um, G Suite ID and uh, click on uh, create new folder. Right click, click on uh, create new folder. So to copy these two sent files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try moving them. If you have your folder listed out here, it will be showing up here. Now I see only inbox and deleted. So I'm going to create up additional folders here in this location. Just right click, click on new folder. I'm taking the option as uh, sent items. Just look out for the names in your uh, uh, Microsoft account. So that's in the name as sent items. So it's not showing for some reasons. So if it is not showing up, what you're going to do is I'm going to go to the settings and uh, take the options as copies and folders. So the send folders, I'm going to make it as uh, manual, which means like I'm going to set it as the local folder. So um, now when I'm creating this account as sent, you'll be able to see this is creating created up. And uh, when I'm trying to rename it, I'll be able to rename it directly here. So this will be helpful for you to, if you want to create up your labels and stuff. So here I'm going to create the name, same name as sent items. So as this folder is not showing up, I'm going to take the uh, database of this folders as uh, local instead of your online version. And finally, I'll sync that together. So go to the copies and take the option as local folders. Now when I just uh, rename this file or something, you'll be able to see that local folder, whatever I created will be popping up here. So this is, um, now when I just try to rename this, so this way you'll be able to copy all your labels, whatever you have created here. So this is now showing up your thing. You can delete the unwanted folders. Now the send time items is like now showing up. So this is the same name which is there in your Outlook uh, ID. So copy the emails from your uh, G Suite sent items and move them to your sent items here. The same way you can copy all your uh, labels as well. So whatever labels you have in your G Suite, everything will be copied. The only problem what we will be facing here is like the files what are, uh, whichever is there in your uh, Google Drive. So they will not be getting copied into this uh, G Suite, uh, into your Outlook account. So the Outlook account by default gives you 50 gigs of storage for your business starter edition along with uh, 1 GB of uh, your um, the cloud drive, the OneDrive storage. So like how we have the uh, G, G drive, we have a OneDrive here, which gives you your um, one TB of data storage along with the 50 GB for email storage. So this way you'll be able to port all your data from your uh, G Suite account to your Outlook account at ease. And uh, if you like this video, do share it with your friends. And if you have any doubts or any queries, just leave a comment. I'll be happy to uh, answer them all. Thanks for watching.